a very, very good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to a brand new vlog. A little bit of a different intro for me. We started off this morning very bright eyed, zero bushy tail, <laughs> other than some crazy hair which you would have seen. It was officially hair wash day and I needed it. You know when you take your hair out of a scrunchie or a hair tie and the ponytail doesn't move? <laughs> that was the situation. Anyway, we went round the orchard, we fed the dogs, I had a little bit of kissy time with the boys, made a cup of coffee and then just had the most divine morning in my boudoir, having shower, washed my hair, blow dry, popped on a touch of makeup, popped on an at-home outfit. So I have actually got a sports bra and a pair of leggings on. And then just because I've got quite a few calls today and the team arriving, I just thought I'd pop on my Goelia short um, stripy cardigan. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I wore it actually on, on Sunday for Sunday lunch and I had so many people ask me where it was from. Um, so of course I've got my <laughs> school uniform on, I've got my nice cream London fluffy slippers, a pair of Halara leggings, these are the crossover ones that I always show you and it's got that gorgeous matching top and it's got the matching sports bra top. It's so so pretty however it's a little bit chilly this morning to be walking around um, with just a sports bra on. So as you can see, I've got this gorgeous double-breasted cardigan on. Hair is in rollers because I've got a couple of bits and pieces that I'm shooting today for TikTok. I know, I've surprised myself. So um, if you don't already follow me on TikTok, then I will leave my details down below. I'm a newbie. <laughs> I also feel like I'm not quite the demographic on TikTok, however, we're on there and we're doing it. So there will be some really funny things coming along on my TikTok, so I will again leave the details down below. So I've got a couple of bits and pieces that I'm filming for TikTok, a few bits and pieces that we're filming for Instagram, and I just thought it'd be really, really nice to bring you along with me. This is going to be a super wholesome home vlog a day in the life a little bit we're going to boot my favorite green juice we're going to have some lunch the girls are arriving both anna and ellen today so it is busy at luxury by leonora headquarters aka home <laughs> we are manifesting a magnificent office in the next year so fingers crossed um and that will obviously of course be on the estate because i've got four ceos delicious sausage CEOs that it would just be a nightmare getting them in the car and driving them somewhere else. But we're very lucky, we've got lots of outbuildings here, so we are going to be, fingers crossed, uh, building a beautiful office and then, you know, filming studio, maybe, and actually an, a walk-in wardrobe over there because the amount of times that I have to come into here and then bring all the camera equipment and sometimes I just think it'd be easier to actually have a studio. Um, but I actually haven't given it that much thought. I'm brainstorming on camera. This has probably been the longest intro <laughs> ever, but as I said, this is going to be the most gorgeous, wholesome, homey vlog. A day in the life crossed with a day at home with my team, work, gonna make my favorite green juice, maybe even a dog walk with those CEOs. <laughs> anyway, Brew yourselves a cup of tea or pour yourselves a glass of champagne. Join me and enjoy. to last. I think I'm on my third cup of coffee, which is not very good, but I literally feel when I come downstairs and I get stuck in with the girls, time just vanishes. It's actually gone uh, just 10 past 11. I've got my gorgeous ladies here. 
Luxury by Lee Nora. <laughs> Headquarters, they're so used to me just talking away that they're just like actually ignoring me. How frightfully rude. Um, anyway, it is actually Shrove Tuesday today, and I was like, Well, we've got to make we've got to make some pancakes or some crepes, so we're gonna do some very, very healthy pancakes. Actually, along with my favorite green juice recipe, it is so simple it's really really easy it is so healthy and nourishing i truly think that this is actually the reason why um my skin glow so all of those lovely people that always ask about how i get my hair how i get my skin so glowy one good skincare two lots of water and three i swear by my juice um so i'm going to be making my green juice so we're going to be like healthy and <laughs> not healthy with the pancakes and a whole lot of coffee so i'm gonna prop you up on my favorite um tripod of dreams which is my olive tin i really hope i don't ever have to open this olive tin i've moved these olives around so much that they're probably not very tasty on the inside anymore but i'm gonna prop you up and we're gonna make my green juice together Okay, so it really is as simple as having a juicer. That probably is one of the most important things. It doesn't need to be super spenny. This is just a really normal Bob Standard Phillips uh, juicer. I've had it for absolute years, so they might have actually updated this version. Um, the only thing I'd say about this juicer is there's a lot of compartments to it. Um, so when it comes to cleaning them, yeah, juices, juices are a little bit of a faff. So if I can find one that's got less compartments, I will leave it linked below. And of course, I will try to find the exact model this is. And of course, leave that down below as well. Now, I really think when it comes to juice and, you know, being the healthiest and most clean is actually keeping the ingredients down to the bare minimum. And it also depends upon what you're feeling like or fancying on that day. And also, it really depends upon what's in my fridge. I will juice just about anything um, and today I have what sort of like you know about three quarters of a cucumber and use the entire thing I've got some very random and rather limp looking celery <laughs> so I'm going to use him and all of him the root at the bottom is actually where all the nutri nutrients is I've got some gorgeous root ginger that I think has seen better days but is going to taste scrum in my juice and then because the girls well because I'm going to force the girls <laughs> to have some green juice and Anna is not a fan of my normal green juice come on thoughts of my normal green juice it was it was slightly difficult to consume <laughs> for me <laughs> I tried. Earthy. It was earthy. Earthy. Very earthy. Not really like anything I've had before. Yeah, but the problem is, is I actually think that that is the thing. So people normally buy juices from like Joe and the Juice and all mm. these sort of like fancy cafes and they're putting so many other things in it to make it yeah. sweet and tasty and they're so unhealthy yeah. and they normally cost an absolute fortune. So I am actually going to add an apple in, which is going to make it for Anna. She's going to like this one. And Ellen, I'm going to convert you to a green juice Thank drinker. You. Um, I might even put some basil in it. I've got a gorgeous basil plant here. The more the merrier. All the green, the green goddess vegetables and fruits. Anyway, let's turn this on. I've also got a flashing battery. Again, what's going on with all these batteries? I'm going to change up the battery and we're going to make our juice. I've changed the battery and this is the current situation. I mean... Honestly, and for all of those of you who get very upset that I only have three beds and I have four dogs, most of the time they like to be in a bed together. And actually Lancelot gets very, very hot, so he likes to actually lie on the floor. And might I add that we do also have four other beds in the kitchen. So should they not want to lay by the Yaga, they do also have their ochre thrones over here. And actually most of them choose to sit on the chair and look out the window at the horrible <laughs> weather we seem to be having today. This rain, I'm really not feeling it. I was planning on having a gorgeous dog walk today. Um, girls, how do we feel about a dog walking lunch break? Yes, in, always. In the rain? Oh. I know. Well, we'll see. Hopefully the rain um, passes and it's a little bit less. I'm loving this colour coordination as well, ladies, today. Oh, yes. It's and so gorgeous. Um, but there's just 
a little bit of a situation. Oh my goodness gracious me. You boys are just too much. I can't actually cope with you. Wiggy, you look like a beached manatee. <laughs> we are doing so well on the diet. What is this? I think it's just a bad angle. He's doing really well. We have got spring rolls. Hmm? Oh my gosh, how do I get any work done with you guys? You are just too scrumptious. I don't know, look at the leg. I mean, he's just such a tart. He knows how to get me. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh my God, I can't actually cope with the teeth. Oh, it's the teeth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, I love you so much. Also, try and get a sausage dog out in the rain. Those of you who are sausage dog owners or mothers or fathers or uncles or aunties, if you are related to a sausage dog in any way, shape or form, you will know how horrendous they are to try and get them out in the rain. This one just plots exactly where he's gonna have a tinkle and a number two in the house, and then he hides it. Whereas Wiggy has absolutely no shame at all. He makes eye contact with me whilst tinkling on the curtains. Yes, you, not a care in the world, <laughs> but just so unbelievably scrunchious, I can't even cope, huh, you beauties? Huh? And I've got a little bit of playing going on back here. Oh, my goodness me, exhausted. Right, back to the juicing. Quick sip. There is really no art to juicing whatsoever. It's about to get a little bit noisy. So I might, depending upon what it um, sounds like, I might put music over this. Um, let's have a little listen. Uh, not too bad. Right, go oh on. I need to find the like nozzle. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is as easy as that. So I just use that shit little Pyrex uh, jug and then I pour out exactly what we need. It's all about making it look jazzy and delicious. So I'm going to pop it into gorgeous glasses, lots of ice, a glass straw, a little bit of basil as a garnish, <gasps> and it's going to be scrumptious. So those are our green juices. I always tell you it's all about presentation. See, does that not look a little bit more inviting to drink? It's so appetizing. So appetizing. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Okay. Taste test on I camera. Know doing it on camera. Do you want my honest? Honest opinions. Yes. In okay. okay. In the moment. In the moment. Mmm. No, I like that. That yeah. Is much nicer, I think, than the previous one. It's I sweeter. Tried. Yeah, it is sweeter. Do you like the ginger? I do like the, I like a zing. Like a zing. Mm. Ellen, Ellen, come try. Oh, come try. <laughs> so you've got the little garnish of basil on the top, which just mm. makes it taste and really feel so much more boozy. Right, Ellen, try. <laughs> These two gorgeous <laughs> gals. Cheers. <laughs> Happy oh, Tuesday. Oh no, you've lost your straw. Oh gosh. Team effort. There we go. Okay. Next member of the team that I'm trying to convert. Oh well. Quite <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I shouldn't. I was prepared for that. It almost tastes. It almost tastes. Oh, the ginger. You put ginger in it. Yeah. Yeah, I can taste like spice. <laughs> oh bless you, poor <laughs> Ellen. I didn't give her any warning at all. It tastes like very I earthy. Really and I was like, oh yeah, nice and sweet. And then. Bang. Yes. It's a little bit, yeah, it's quite spicy. I like it though. Mm. Okay, well actually, I haven't, I haven't tasted it, it myself. On, okay, hang on a minute. Poor Ellen. <laughs> I love it. There's something very wrong with me though. My mother used to make me drink um, celery juice when I was a little girl. Oh I know what little girl drinks celery juice. And now I've become, I love it. Like the more earthy and like mm. dirty, the better. <laughs> <laughs> like you know when you're like, you know, filthy. Like, <laughs> when there's like 
Martin is. <laughs> that should be the uh, the thumbnail, like or the the title. She loves the dirty she chews. <laughs> okay, well I've had to chop somewhat of my head off just so that you can see what I'm doing. I didn't think this was going to turn into a baking vlog, but as it's Shrove Tuesday and the whole team are here, we cannot not have some pancakes. So literally super simple, super easy and relatively healthy actually and also uh, dairy free. I'm not great on dairy so I always like to use um, a dairy alternative and today that is almond. Um, you can also use almond flour or coconut flour however um, I'm actually just going to use self-raising and plain. So you need 50 grams of plain white flour 50 grams of self-raising flour and 150 mils of whatever milk that you choose. And then I've actually got two eggs. I'm gonna add a dash of cinnamon because those of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel for a while will know that I am utterly obsessed with cinnamon. And also a little dashingtons of vanilla extract. So I've got my scales here. I've got my bowl set up. Let's get cracking. ready literally is as easy as that this is the type of consistency so it is really rather runny you literally whack it in a bowl i'm sure lots of people have their sort of methods and theories to it mine is simple easy and healthy and absolutely delicious and you can literally top it with whatever you wish you could put double cream and some fresh berries you can put strawberries you can put nutella you can be really simple and classic and just have fresh lemon and sprinkle some sugar over the top of it. My goodness gracious me, you let me know in those comments down below how you like to have your pancakes. I really also want to learn how to make the Japanese pancakes. They're like super, super thick and I think it's all about um, whisking the egg white. So I'm going to try and do those in the next couple of weeks, perfect them, and then let you know my thoughts and if if they are a success. Uh, I will of course share that with you. So I'm gonna give this another quick little whisk. I'm going to pop some butter into a pan, pop it on the gas and start making our scrummy pancakes. We can try and get a flip. Yes. Like a, a little, yeah. So it's like bubbling away. And I think with pancakes or crepes, it's also all about making sure that you put like equal amounts in. Because again, when it comes to presentation, you want them to be like all the, the same size so that you can stack them. But like it's always about the pancake stack, isn't it ladies? So it is bubbling away. And then we're gonna have to do the flip. I feel like we should all do a flip each and see who's the best. See who's is the best flip. A flip off. Yes, Ellen. I love it. So that, oh, they're actually really quite orange. I think it's because of our yolks. Yeah, they are, um, I think they were, uh, what do they call them? Burford Browns. They've got no Burford Browns. They're called, yeah, Burford Browns. Oh guys, do you want to know what their tagline is? What is that? <laughs> Clarence Court, fabulous eggs by fabulous birds. <laughs> I've never seen a more on-brand egg in my life. I love 
Burford. I mean, honestly, biggest shout out to Clarence Court Bur Burford Browns. This is obviously not a paid ad, um, but I love your fabulous eggs. Oh my goodness, I might have to go on a bit of a field trip, ladies, and go and meet these fabulous hens. Okay, are we ready? Oh gosh, I feel the pressure. Okay, oh, any any suggestions, ladies? Of um, I would go to the edge and then. Yeah. Okay, fabulous. Right, that is my flip done, ladies. Oh gosh, she's like, she's peeling up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't remember the last time I made pancakes. I don't think I made pancakes this time last year. Oh. No. I don't know where I it was this time. I had it for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I did like <gasps> different like types. Savory. Yeah. Did you do like breakfast and like pancakes with eggs? Yeah. And actually like pancakes with like, like ham and cheese. And ham and cheese. Yeah, yeah exactly. love it. Yeah. And then a dinner pancake. It's like bacon and maple syrup. Oh. So good. <laughs> so good. So yummy. Okay, I think that's pancake. Number one. Wonderful. Ooh. We've got the next flipper. Right. Okay. Right, I believe in you. We've got this. This is when it ends up on the floor. No. No. Ready? Oh, that, that was a good, good one! one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! And then they're like doing this little curl up thing. They've got like, um, they're like wings. They're like wings. With fingers. <laughs> so appetizing. Not poppadons, what's the other one? Naan bread? No, we know. Ooh, a prawn cracker. Prawn cracker. They're giving prawn cracker vibes. I wasn't really um, planning on them looking like prawn crackers, but I, I think have that actually, tastes delicious. I've got a really cool idea as well. I'm going to continue to use my heart. I called this a stencil, but it's a cookie cutter. <laughs> I've already got slaughtered online for saying it was a stencil. Same difference. It doesn't say same. Thing. So we're going to actually create hearts. I'm going to eat the off cuts. So the girls can eat the hearts. So we're gonna, share. We're, we're gonna share. make a heart pancake tower with like cherries and strawberries and icing sugar. Maybe a little bit of Nutella. Delish. Ooh, delish, <laughs> delish. Right, awesome. This one's done. <laughs> and voila. So this is <laughs> our pancake concoction. So everybody likes to have their pancakes differently. So we've got some strawberries, we've got some lemon and some sugar, and then some gorgeous cherries. And I'm actually going to go and dig out the Nutella. But we've lit the candle, we've got some gorgeous flowers here, and we are going to dig in to our scrumptious looking pancakes. So whilst the girls <laughs> dig into the pancakes, I mean, this is the current situation. The legs are going. <laughs> I mean, he's so delicious. Oh, Owens, you beauty. You beauty. Oh. Thanks to Rami, what are you doing? Are you crazy babies? Come on boys, we've got to go out. I know you don't want to, but we've got to. No, not back into bed. Come on, out you get. Wiggy, you look like Dobby. Out. Come on, we're going out. Let's go. Come on, treats. Do you want treats? Treats? Come on, yes, you'll come to treats. Let's go boys. Let's go for big wee-wees and poo-poos around the orchard. Look, I don't want to go as much as you do. It is peeing cats and dogs out there. Come on then, little scrunchkins. Well, I'm dressed. Oh gosh, for this. It is awful. Absolutely, oh, hideous. This weather, it is wet, it is grey, it is grim. Oh, not the vibe, but I am oh, delightfully dry and warm in my coat. I always call this my 
exhibition coat. It is an expedition coat. Oh my goodness, I feel like I need it today. This is absolutely atrocious. And what normally is a beautiful view. Oh, this is miserable today. We're gonna have wet, soggy sausages. Come on then, little scrunchkins. Come on then. Oh, Lancelot is such a good boy. He's actually the only sausage I have ever met that doesn't mind the rain. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, you can't safari. No, not in the mud. Let's go. Cream sausage dog in the mud. It's just not the one. Come on, let's go. Raffi has found a ball. Oh, look at how horrible and miserable this is. Oh, Rafiki, you ready? Whee! Good boy! You have got to be joking me. Look at the colour of him. That is just not the one. Lancelot, really? Where have you been? Where have you been? Look at the state of you. You were disgusting. I mean, why do you have to like the rain? Right, you're horrendous. Okay, so the baking continues. And actually we are trialing something as a pudding idea for tomorrow night for Valentine's. And so the girls are going through my guinea pigs. <laughs> so we are gonna just create some really gorgeous little glasses of strawberries, marshmallows, delicious nougat, some lad wrap chocolate, everything under the sun, as well as some melted dairy milk. So naughty, but so delicious. I would actually myself have dark chocolate, however, uh, the girls want milk and so will Mark. So we are going to literally create the most beautiful little glasses and we thought it would actually be a really lovely idea to film it for TikTok as well. I know there are so many of you that love my baking videos and I do them in long form obviously for you but for those who don't have as much time and want to have something that's slightly more like fun and hip and cool, cool, <laughs> get me, the most uncool person on earth on TikTok. Um, so anyway, we thought we'd pop that type of content on TikTok. So go and take a look at it. Please support, go and be nice. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. And then we've got quite a bit to get through. It is 20 past four. Um, also got to film bits and pieces with the dogs. Um, and then I actually personally have a lot of work to catch up on. And then actually I'm gonna do an at-home workout. So I will of course do that with you guys. So I will see you in a little bit. Hi my angels, gosh it's been a little bit of time since I spoke to you last. I got stuck in and we filmed some really really fun things that I think you guys are going to absolutely love. I think they're so good that actually we're going to have to put them on Instagram. Very different content to what I'm used to posting. You know Instagram is most certainly, well I would say the grid is very much a highlight reel and you know what I try to highlight that as much as possible. You know I do not look like that on a daily basis. It is so beautifully created and so beautifully edited and the content direction takes a long time to think about and obviously it's all just so beautiful but actually one of my biggest reasons and biggest sort of wishes for my YouTube channel was also to show the behind the scenes of that, to show you guys that I don't wake up looking like that. It takes me time to get ready and it takes me time to look like this or certainly look like the way I do on Instagram. So um, today we've actually just filmed some really raw, fun, sort of quite um, humorous uh, content, which I think you guys are going to love. I absolutely think it's hysterical. It's not quite perfect in terms of the lip syncing. 
I'm giving you guys a little bit of a, a hint as to what it is. And I've got four very special actors. <laughs> so a very, very big hint. Um, actually, by the time you see this, it will have gone live. So go over onto my TikTok and my Instagram. I will leave both of those in the description box down below. Please, please go and show your love. It would mean the world to me. Um, anyway, I've got bits and pieces to do um, this evening that actually, you know, it's easier for me to get my head down and actually really zone in when the girls aren't here. You know, we do we do a lot. We're a very, very close-knit team, but there are also a few things that um, I do still need to do alone, which uh, I'm going to be doing this evening. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing this. You can actually hear the munchkins whining a bit because it is actually, in fact, their good time. Rafi, you want your pooch? <laughs> you see him, he's just there. <gasps> is it dinner time? Is it poot time? It is. They are actually having, I mean, talk about having some posh pooches. Um, in the winter, they actually have what we call fishy po puppy porridge. Mm, delish, a delicacy. So we buy uh, frozen fish fillets, white fish fillets from the supermarket. Um, they're cheap as chips quite literally. I think they're like two pounds a packet and you get something like 10 or 12 different fish, well, the same fish fillets but 12 of them in a packet. And I pop them in the microwave <laughs> and for breakfast and dinner, they get um, hot haddock and we call it puppy porridge um, for their breakfast and dinner and they go crazy. Odie knows that the microwave is finished and he's like, uh, excuse me, um, I think you'll find that my dinner is actually, in fact, ready. So <laughs> I need to do that first. I'm then going to just catch up with a couple of things in terms of like accounts. I've got to send a few invoices. I've got to pay a lot of invoices. All the joys. And then I'm actually going to head down to the gym. We're going to have a little bit of a wellness evening. I need to do a run. I'm getting back into running. Cami and Venera have inspired me. I have also just entered a Tough Mudder. I know. Actually, I don't know whether... I feel like I really want to tell you guys where and when it is. So if there are any of you that would like to come... Gosh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm not sure whether it would be anything you'd be interested in coming to. But I'm getting back into running. And trust me, running is not my forte. I'm very, very good at short distance. I still hold the record for 100 metres and relay at both of my schools. And I did... Uh, yeah, I was second in the... Um, South of England Championship. So running, door running, but short distance and long distance is just not my thing. Was not built for it. These boobs and bum. Oh, there's just too much going up and down. Anywho, I ran my first 5K in a very, very long time yesterday. So I'm inspired. I'm gonna do another 5K this evening and then I'm going to do an at-home Matt Pilates class. I have a few YouTube videos um, and a few people on YouTube that I adore following and subscribing to. So I will share them with you and I'm gonna do like a bit more of like a stretching. I'm gonna tone the legs. Um, I'm really trying to work on my abs at the moment. I'm in a real health kick and have been since the beginning of the year, um, <laughs> minus the little spoonfuls of chocolate that you saw earlier today. But I'm, I'm just trying to be, like I always say, the very, very best version of myself. Happy and healthy, glowing from the inside out, nourishing myself as much as I possibly can, but also enjoying life. If you're baking, oh, have it, try it delicious food if you're going out for dinner have whatever it is that you fancy and what makes your heart beat on the menu and then when you get home just rein it in just be as healthy and as sensible as you can um, but most importantly you don't need to like be on any silly crazy diets or cut out all of these different food types um, obviously unless you are intolerant. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. You guys get the gist. I've got some very upset sausage dogs that I haven't fed them yet. So, um, actually, you guys always love seeing this, so I will actually take you with me. So, trust me when I say, when I feed the dogs at like 7 a.m. in the morning, this is not the smell you want to smell. It's like, mmm, <laughs> fishy. <laughs> so, they have a hot haddock and they actually really love the like jus that comes off of this. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. This really 
does not smell the nicest thing in the world. And I always get a fork so that I can mush it up and make it into puppy porridge. Are we ready? Are we ready for dinner? Is that a yes? I think so. I think so. Oh, delicious. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> I think they are ready for their sups ups. Boys, you ready for your pood? Come on then, let's go. Dinner. Come on then. Come on then, let's go. Ready for your pood? Let's go. Oh my goodness. Starving Europe's. Starving Europe's. Oh my gosh, look at me. Terrible mother that I am today. I actually haven't had time to make their beds this evening. Oh my goodness gracious me. And please excuse all of these bags. I'm actually organizing my wardrobes and actually selling a few bits and pieces. So I will leave my Vinted account actually in that description box down below. So if you are actually interested in shopping my wardrobe, they will be on there soon. But more importantly, oh, let's get these babies fed. Are you hungry? <gasps> Are you hungry? I think so. I think so. Water is in. Oh, the delicious juice. I'm actually going to pop that into Lancelot's. Oh, a bit of Lancelot, a bit of Raffi, a bit of oats, and a bit of wigs. Oogie gets quite a lot. Lancelot gets the majority. Raffi gets a little bit. Oogie gets a little bit, and Oogie gets the rest. It's me from breakfast. So being lazy. Oh, and now we're going to mush it all together and make it into delicious haddock puppy porridge. Oh, I know. Big commotion. Oh, big commotion. Oh, my goodness. Tell me. Oh, big commotion. Oh, huge stories. Oh, starving. Oh, my goodness. Mommy hasn't fed you. Right. Just make sure that it's cooled down a little bit. Okay. It's coming, it's coming. Oh, the commotion, the commotion. So that is their puppy porridge all finished. Oh, delicious, scrum diddyocious. Wiggy does his little dance. Is it your poo dance? Are you hungry? No. Oh, are you hungry? Okay, it has cooled down. Wiggy, we're gonna do Wiggy first. Good boy. Lancelot. Lancelot, Odie, you can't always get be fed first. You got fed first this morning. Odie, 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 good boy. Oh, good boy. And then Raffi, my beautiful baby boy. Come on then. Here we go. Oh, bon appetit, baby. Bon appetit. Oh, delicious. Well, that is them all fed. Back at my workstation, I'm gonna get a little bit ahead. I'm gonna get all of that sort of personal stuff done. And then we are going to be heading to the gym. I'm really excited. I feel like I've got really into it. Um, and I never thought I'd be one of those people. And I, I genuinely am not one of those people. Um, but I can't even begin to tell you how much I've adored every single second of Reformer recently. And it has completely transformed my body in, in ways that I just did not think was possible. Um, and so I just think with a little bit of running, it's going to build up my stamina and my fitness. Um, really, really tone up my legs, and then with the reformer and the Pilates, it'll be like lengthening and strengthening. And I'm gonna, yeah, share my favorite workouts and share my top tips and secret tricks. And I will see you guys down in the gym in probably a little bit. So I'm gonna get ahead, like I said, and I will see you in a chip. <laughs> I got more than just words You bring me songs Sweet like the birds So I got more than just words Have just popped down to the pool No, it is not two o'clock in the afternoon I always have to say that Because there are always so many people That are in the comments Being like, you know what? two o'clock in the afternoon why on earth is it dark outside that is actually not battery operated so it's always two o'clock and i always say we should change it to five o'clock so it's happy hour 
all the time. Um, anyway, as I said, I've just popped down to the gym. I'm going to do a very, very quick but effective workout. Tied the hair up. Uh, the pearls will be coming out. Um, and I'm actually going to take off my cardigan because I do get quite hot and sweaty. So let's do this. My trainers on. For those of you who are going to ask me about my trainers, these are the Nike Zoom Pegasus 37. They are quite streamlined actually, and I just think they're quite cute and chic. They're sort of like, sort of like pointed at the back. Apparently, they're meant to make you run faster. Highly doubtful. <laughs> um, but I actually find them very supportive. I've spoken about it before, but I have quite a bad ankle and have had lots of surgeries on it. And running is always, you know, running is quite hard on the body. Our knees, our joints, our ankles, those of us who are slightly um, larger chested, I can say in a more delicate way. Um, you know, we need to have sports bras that give us as much support as possible. So finding, a pair of trainers that are extremely supportive for my ankles and comfortable and um, you know make it a little bit less bearable it's very important so I will try and find the exact trainers and of course link them down below the set you've seen this before actually I practically live in this set this is from Halara absolutely adore it this is actually like a little bit more of like a ballet sports bra i wouldn't say it is a high support but i am actually in fact just going to do a bit of a light jog this evening i don't sprint 5k never have never will um i take it slow and steady slow and steady wins the race so i'm actually going to start off um with a walk i do a five minute walk at five pace on the treadmill it's definitely not like five miles an hour i'll figure out what it is um but the marker on our treadmill which is a life fitness treadmill it is absolutely ancient um but it works so don't see why i should change it um so as i said number five on the speed and number 5.5 on the incline so you really really get those muscles working and it's a really lovely warm-up then we take the incline down on the flat and i think i take it up to about nine and it's a really really lovely jog and i'm going to do 5k so that is what we are going to start with we are then going to meet over on the mat for some mat uh, pilates we're going to tone we're going to do some ab work a little bit of glute work and we're going to do lots of stretching for our cool down i'm not intending on being in here very long <laughs> but i want it to be as effective as possible and then i'm going to head on inside marcus is making a bolognese so i'm extremely grateful um he makes a banging bolognese it is actually in fact the only thing he uh, he can make so very excited about that but um anyway i'm going to pop you guys here and you will be able to see me Oh, begrudgingly get this run done. Oh, you're not in focus. And there we go. 
every time I run. And I actually think, in terms of sculpting, and in some ways, booty lifting, the uphill walking is even better than the run. It's the incline, but you need to do it for longer. So actually sometimes if I'm just by myself and Anna and Ellen aren't working, I'll come down here and I actually have a clip that I can pop on the treadmill and I can put my laptop on there. I've got my headphones in, and actually to make <laughs> my run that little bit easier, I'm catching up on Josie's latest vlog. By the time you see this, uh, of course this will be a few days old, so I'm actually watching. I have big news to share with you. Very exciting. So I've been catching up with Josie and all of her news um, whilst I've been running, and I think also that's something so important. Make sure that you are listening to great motivational music or watching a movie, Netflix, Josie, me, <laughs> anybody that you absolutely adore because it just takes your mind off of the, <sighs> the sheer pain that you might be in. Anyway, I'm gonna pop this back in my ear, make sure this is paused so that I can, I can talk to you guys. Now, I'm glowing, quite literally. Um, from sweat <laughs> so let's head over to the mat and sadly I'm gonna have to switch Josie off and turn Nicole on because Nicole is one of the incredible ladies that I subscribe to on YouTube I should take these out so I can also hear what I'm doing <sighs> and she is amazing she just makes it really simple really easy but so effective again this is designed to be quick but really really powerful get into those muscles and those glutes and at the moment i'm sort of aiming on like lengthening and strengthening my muscles and i'm feeling so much better for it and i've got into such a gorgeous routine of coming down here actually lighting one of my favorite candles which is the joe loves pomelo it's just the most beautiful calming very serene candles and there's something just about burning a candle that just instantly relaxes you so what i like to do <laughs> my treadmill turning off is actually sit my phone here and then I can see what I'm doing and just do my gorgeous Pilates class in here very quietly in a very relaxed and serene atmosphere. So I'm going to pop you there and then this is Nicole. So I literally put Pilates full body workout and move with Nicole. Hopefully that will focus. There we go. And she has so many different classes. So as I said, it's so simple. Just come onto YouTube. Obviously this isn't um, specific to you or specifically to the needs that you are looking to do, but obviously if the moves or if the class is slightly too hard, then just try and find one that is, is kind of tailored to you. Obviously this is very generic and very general. Um, and I kind of found my favorites really. I think this one's a really good one. So this is a 30 minute full body workout at home Pilates, no equipment needed. So I think that's the one I'm going to do. So I actually prop my phone up next to you guys. I'm gonna pop that there. Kids, dinner's in 15 minutes, <laughs> Stacey Solomon, swimming, football, uh, every after school club on the sun. Hello, Fresh. You're ready. Let's do this. out oh what a pilates i would say class well you know session 
Honestly, I absolutely love Move With Nicole. As I said, it's quite a generic class, so do it as you feel your body can. And if anything hurts, then obviously don't do it. Um, but I just think it's such an incredible thing to have access to for free. And it just gets me feeling supple and flexible and most importantly, strong. And like I always say, like the reformers, I've noticed a huge difference. And just carving that little bit of time out, like me time, which is one of my biggest goals for this year, already has made the biggest difference, both physically and mentally. So I absolutely love it. And trust me, I'm looking at this candle and I'm just in a whole nother world of tranquility with Joe Loves absolutely adore joe loves i have it all around the house in my bathrooms in the kitchen and i feel like pomelo is just such a divine and fresh scent anyway i'm done in here and um i'm so happy that you guys were able to join me it's always so lovely to be able to share it with you guys anyway i'm gonna head inside and i have a feeling the bolognese is going to be ready so let's head in let's